at this point, I don't even know what's going on. All of this is weird. I'm just weirded out right now, so. Are you Raven? Hi, yeah. Um, Hi, Raven. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. We're all kind of just catching up and finding out a lot of new information and just want to give you a chance to kind of introduce yourself um, and then tell the story however you feel best reflects the truth. Okay. My name is Raven. Um, I'm from Seattle, which is how I originally came across Neani's pictures. There was multiple accounts. A lot of them got deleted. The most people that I've talked to like on the accounts would be Paula. And how many people were you talking to? I was talking to a lot of people, like 800 people all together. What? I'm kind of confused right now because, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm confused. I started to see that when I was someone else, I was getting more attention than I was as me. And so I started to go with that. I know that this sounds crazy, but like, it was literally like an addiction. Sometimes what I would do is create mutual friends so that people would think that it was a real account. This person knew people in real life. I was behind the Jordan account um, that Aaliyah had reached out to. First of all, I'm sorry. I really did like you. I think that you're a really good person. I've always thought that you were a very beautiful person. Um, all I want to do is come clean and come forward with the truth. And, yeah. and I think that you deserve that. Go ahead, if you have something you want to say, Elliot. Well, I just wanted to talk to y'all too, without her present. Like just us? Yeah. Sure, I mean, if that's okay with you, Raven, Aaliyah will check in with you for a minute. Raven will bring you back on and we can finish the conversation. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so I just, I only want to talk to you two right now real quick so we can get some stuff out the way. This girl is sitting here continuing to lie. Everything I've told you guys is the truth about me and Paula's relationship. We've never FaceTimed. We have been talking for that period of time. Everything is real. But the reason why I'm so blown out of the water and confused the reason I did believe Paula was the girl in the pictures is because Paula, she hit me up. She still had me convinced she was a real person. She was like, let's get on this TV show. What? It was gonna be like a, I see you, you see me, it's a happy ending type of episode. Whoa. That's why it's, it's weird now and it's scary me. Basically everything I've told you guys is the truth about me and Paula's relationship. We've never FaceTimed. We have been talking for that period of time. Everything is real. But Paula, she hit me up, was like, let's get on this TV show. It was gonna be like a, I see you, you see me, it's a happy ending type of episode. Whoa. That's why it's weird now and it's scary me. I was down because I really believed Paula was a real person. That's why when she popped up on the screen, I really thought that she just changed our whole story and was going her own direction with it, and it was making me mad. When Naomi came on. Yes. Wait, did you, but did you already know who Raven was? No. She thought she was meeting Paula, Paula. genuinely. That's why she yes. was so sure, because Paula told her, like, it's gonna be a good, it's gonna be a happy ending, so it doesn't really matter, oh but it'll God. be good. So. Raven, in a unbelievably selfish and also additionally like deceptive move, twisted, convinced you to write in and tricks you into coming on the show by telling you that it was just really her and that you guys were gonna have a happy ending. Yeah. So she came up with this whole plan and you said yes because you thought it was really just Paula, but actually the girl in the pictures was Nayani. Wow. She had me convinced she was a real person when we were wow. doing this. So I genuinely assumed that she right. was real. That's why this is this is all weirding me out. Like when the real Paula right, came on the screen, that's why I was thrown off. 
because I thought that she was coming up with an, a whole other storyline by herself. When she said, I'm not Paula, and you're like, what the f Yes, it, it threw me off, because I'm like, that's, but they sound just alike, yeah, her and this girl. They do sound very similar. I guess that's how girls talk in Ooh. Washington. I don't know. But now that you've heard Raven, you're sure that was the voice you've been talking to this whole time? Yeah, that's definitely her. This is why I'm telling you this, right, because right. It's, it's weird now. She's definitely not coming on the show to tell you the truth and come clean and like do the right thing. She lied to you to get you yeah. to get on, on the show, and then she lied to us and you right now on the show while she's supposed to be changing her life and making good decisions to like be a better person. Like, I'm, I'm really, really bad. Like, this was not supposed to happen. And she made it seem like you were actually coming on to finally meet right. her, which is what you've been wanting this whole time. That is crazy. This is how I really am. So she has me looking dumb on TV and it's messing with my anxiety right now. Like I'm really not feeling this at all. Like it's, it's weird. The thing that obviously bothers me is we take this job very seriously. We're trying to help people and it's just not okay what you did either, Aaliyah. I mean, it's messed up on your end that you lie to us, not giving us all the information to help you. It's pretty messed up. Well, I do want to apologize though. When the plan was told to me, it was something super simple, quick, and it wasn't really a lie on my end. So I was like, okay, that's fine. Because she was Paula. Like she was still acting like Paula this whole she, time with me. She catfished you. She played you out. That's what she did. Yeah. And though it's messed up what you did, you genuinely believe that you were gonna be able to finally meet this person by any means necessary. And although it's not something that we encourage, I understand it. Right. She is a manipulator. She has been doing this since she was a teenager. The worst part is like, she even thought she could play you like that, play the show, and then get Nayani, mm -hmm. the girl she's been playing the longest, mm -hmm. to do her dirty work mm -hmm. and, and tell her story so she wouldn't even have to. She could just like sit back. Obviously, we need to call out Raven. Obviously. Because I'm not we're not gonna let her get away with I wanna be messy about both it. I mean forget what she's done to you. Now it, it's personal. I mean now mm -hmm. she's playing us and I'm not about to let that happen on my show. So I think we should bring her back in. And we'll just confront her and then say our goodbyes. Here she comes. But who wants to start? Me. Okay, we're all back. Aaliyah, the floor is yours. Okay. So, I blew up our spot. So, we are exposed. I told them, me and you have spoke behind the scenes. I wouldn't have done this had I known that you were not gonna end up being the person you swore we were. You almost got the other girl cussed out because I thought she was Paula coming up with a new plan out of nowhere and not telling me. So she was about to get cussed out, but then I had to think about it like, baby, that's really not Paula. I'm weirded out by all this. Still kind of disappointed in myself that I even thought this was a good idea to do because now I'm on TV looking stupid. So I'm trying to like just keep my composure because we're on TV. I don't want to say something I can't take back. But after three and a half years of lying, you're not going to get a friendship from me. I'm going to just say that now. So that's it. Okay. Do I understand? If I was put in your position, I'd be the same way. I'm not trying to embarrass anybody. But you did but I'm not trying to, and nor was that my intention. You were deceiving Leah behind the scenes into thinking that she was actually going to meet the real Paula. That is how you were able to get here to this point right now and get on our show. And why even want to get on the show? So I'm coming up here now to set the record straight and to come clean. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna see this. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna know of the real person behind the pictures, and that's why I'm here. But, but you didn't need to do this to come clean. You could have just stopped lying and told people the truth. Well, or... I didn't have any more of my accounts. I'm sure as you know, you may know, like my accounts have been deleted by Instagram. So I didn't have the chance because I was gonna go on Instagram Live with Nayani at one point and tell everybody that Paula was not a real person. But I don't believe that for a second. We never had two hopeless hookups. An identical twin. <gasps> everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> 
That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on! 